does a how does a ra rather than a, a SaaS company, how does a product focused company double down on retention? Like what what are the what are the strategies? Like how would you recommend a company yeah, like that do? You know, so what we're seeing on the best brands, it's actually, it's, it's beautiful to see it's combined. So if you want to double down on retention, the first thing you need to do is understand your customers. So mm -hmm. you need to ask them, you need to analyze that content and understanding, hey, what's good and what's bad? Mm -hmm. That's like, and now to piggyback to Yotpo, for example, like we haven't launched it, but the product that's now in beta, we're launching like a product that does exactly that. On scale, sentiment analysis of your reviews, of your help desk, no matter mm -hmm. what. That analyze and actually gives you, you know, your return customers are saying X, but your uh, your repeat shoppers, sorry, are saying X, but first time shoppers are saying Y, and this is what you need to change. <clears throat> so, for example, what your Ohio customer is saying on shipping versus your New York customer is saying on shipping. So, I think that's very very important. First step is to understand your community, and second, in a very iterative process, to be committed to that and changing what you need to change in order to improve that. So it can be on your product. It can be on your site experience, it can be on your shipping, it can be on your prices, it doesn't matter. But you need to find a way, and a very methodical way, to improve your offering, your experience, based on what your customers are saying, because loyalty is dying. The only thing that customers are loyal now is to the experience. And experience means end-to-end, from on-site, to price, to user-generated content, to shipping, to everything. That's the experience. So it's, it's very, very hard to name. But you are very committed to that. There's a very methodical way to do that.